Hi, Peter. It's great to see you. Good to see you, Paul. You know, Peter, we're talking to people about faith and the coronavirus, and there's a lot of people out there I know, small business owners worried about going bankrupt. There's people worrying about losing their jobs. They've lost their income, don't know how long this is going to go. <clears throat> there's um, all kinds of people with investments worried about uh, their, 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 their life savings, what's going to happen to it. And um, you are in a position where 10 years ago or more in 2008, you're a small business owner and you were facing bankruptcy. And, and I know you ended up losing everything monetary in your life back then. And so you've got through that. And I'd love to talk with you about how faith played a role in that back in 2008 and, and how it plays a role now, because you're facing the same thing now. So could you tell us a little bit about what happened in 2008 and how you dealt with it? Yeah, sure. Uh, it, was a, it was a tough year or two or three. You know, uh, business had, was dropping off dramatically. We had made investments in property and, and uh, projects that weren't coming to fruition. Um, we went from 55 employees down to eight. Um, we had to sell our house to satisfy the bank. Uh, my parents were, were having, uh, were in the autumn of their life and having health issues and ended up passing away within months of each other right at the same time. And I got cancer and, and uh, was fighting that battle uh, all at the same time. So it was a tough time. Um, no question about it. So and did that strengthen your faith? I mean, what did that, I mean, how was your faith during that great time of stress? You know, I, I got to say that was probably one of the times when my faith was the strongest. Uh, I did not, uh, I was not angry with God. I was, uh, I, I took it as a humbling lesson in my life. And I took it as, you know, he was my rock and foundation that I relied on to get me through that time. You know, it was a strengthening time for our marriage. Uh, Celia and I had, we're, we're much closer in those days and, and weeks and, and years than, uh, than we ever were. At so the time, it pulled us together. That way? So, sorry to interrupt. At the time, did it feel that way or, or is that in hindsight? Well, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm talking from hindsight now, but I, I think at the time we both realized that uh, we were, we, we dug in and, and worked together and closely because it affected both of our lives. You know, it affected me a little more because I had the health issues, but we were both dealing with my parents' health and, and deaths. We were dealing with the business because we were in it together and uh, it was a strengthening time. And I think in hindsight, yes, I can say it was was a faith, a time of great faith for us, and great humbleness. I mean, we we were brought down low, and uh, and yet uh, it didn't. You know, we we reached out and, and relied on God to uh, bring us out of that. We I don't think there was ever a time when we said that God hadn't provided. Whenever there was, you know, when the house uh, had to be sold, uh, we ended up being able to live in my parents' house. So, you know, God was there moving the, the, the dice around for us and uh, we felt that way too. How was the, the, role of the, the role of your community around you at the time? How, how, did, how did your community, your circle of friends, your associates, your business associates, how, how did that play a role in? in uh... Well, yeah, it was phenomenal. You know, I think we built up enough trust and, and goodwill in, in our community over the years that the everybody rallied around we we still had business to to do um i didn't hide my face i i went out into the community and when everybody somebody wanted to talk about what's hey what's going on i heard your things were tough i would talk about it and i think that not only helped me but it it was a witness to them that um through adversity there's there's strength so Fast forward to today, we're facing a crisis, a worldwide crisis that may be even worse than what you had to go through in 2008. And it's not just you, it's many, many, many people. But 
So how are you now, with that experience under your belt, how are you facing this crisis uh, from a faith perspective? Is, is, is it any different? I, no, I, I, I have total faith in God that he, this is part of his plan and his purpose and that uh, he's going to look after us. Um, so I, uh, my faith isn't wavering through this. Uh, we're, we're facing some pretty uh, potential financial uh, consequence from this whole thing. Our business may shut down within days or weeks and the income will dry up. Uh, but, you know, I think there's all kinds of opportunity to help one another to get through this. And that's an act of faith. That's a, that's a faith that God's going to provide. He's going to get us through this. And so let's dig in and, and make it happen. Um, so I'm, I'm optimistic about uh, how this will result in, in increased faith with, for those around, around us in our local community and then more of the worldwide community. I think today we have the opportunity to uh, interact with hundreds of people on our social media. You know, I have so many friends on Facebook and Instagram that are reaching out to one another and providing support and help. And I think that's a, that's an act of God, really. That's a, you know, God works through. Absolutely. Through no. others. And it's a, and it's a test and it's a trial. Um, our, how are we going to act? Are we going to act in uh, positively or negatively? Are we going to lose our faith or gain faith? Are we going to gain strength? Or are we going to fumble and, and wallow in fear? Fear shouldn't be there. So you see this as a time not to be afraid, but to grow in faith and to rely on God. Absolutely. Absolutely. Do you, uh, do you think this is the end? Do you think this is the time of the beginning of the end? Could be. Could be. But I don't want to uh, be sitting here waiting for it. I, I want to be uh, working and, and uh, in the vineyard and, and doing what I can right up to the day when when the kingdom is established, bang. And I'm, you know, oh, wait a minute, Peter, uh, we, we got to go now. <laughs> that's, that's where I'm going to be. So Peter, how about now with your, 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 your marriage and your family going through this crisis versus before? Is it easier now than before? Or is it because, yeah. you, is it? It's definitely easier. You know, I, I think I have perspective. I have a little more wisdom. And, uh, and I'm not so proud. I'm, I was humbled before, and, and I think I've been fairly humble since. I don't have uh, as much ambition, but I have uh, uh, lots of faith and strength to, to, to give to others, too. So I'm, I'm looking forward to those opportunities in the coming weeks and months. So, Peter, there's a lot of people in a similar situation as you. Would you be willing to share your experience with people? Uh, other Absolutely. I, you know, if anybody wanted to reach out to me and ha are suffering financial uh, hardships and, and business failures, uh, I'd be happy to talk and share my experience and, and hopefully some sage advice about that. Great. Wonderful. Well, Peter, thanks for, thanks for sharing your experience with us. I think it can be helpful, encouraging to others. Um, and, uh, you know, it's our prayer that you and all others uh, who are facing financial crisis, potentially coming up soon um, that God helps us all through it. And uh, we all, we pray that uh, our Lord's return will be soon. So thanks so much for sharing this. Yeah. Amen to that. And uh, always a pleasure, my friend.